All right, hi everybody in the World Wide Web. Um, we are doing some grading with gravel and we are finishing up the front deck. Well, finishing up, I mean, it still needs railings and stuff like that, but we'll, we'll, we'll get the main platform done and the stairs. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so um, we've been running off of solar for the last two days and it has worked really well. Um, today is an overcast day, so I'm only making maybe 200 watts. So not a whole lot, but um, <coughs> still, I mean, on an overcast day, 200 watts, better than nothing. So, but yeah, we're, uh, we're not running a whole lot. We got Starlink, we got a, a cooler we're running right now. Um, we're running a toaster and we're running a coffee machine from time to time and a television and uh, charging our devices and uh, yeah it's been pretty sweet so now we use our our tools and stuff and we don't have to fire up the generator anymore so it's pretty slick saving money on fuel in that sense so and noise because who likes the noise Power from the sun. Otto, what are you doing? Oh yeah, this is a cheap man's deck. But it'll work. Some of you may be wondering, uh, why don't you have any gaps in it? Well, that's because it's super wet to begin with, and by the time it shrinks, there will be a gap. So that's that's why. If you don't believe me, I can do a follow-up video in like a year. And then we can all admire just how big the gaps got. All right, guys, so we just, uh, we're renting ourselves a skid steer. We're gonna see how it goes. And uh, please don't judge me. I've never done any grading before. Uh, so it'll be the first. I've used skid steers in the past before, just moving dirt around and whatnot, but uh, never any grading. So I'm gonna give it a whirl and see how it looks afterwards.
All right, guys, check it out. We graded it as best as we could. We ran around the side here. Yeah, the car and the trailer's kind of, kind of in the way there. Uh, we made ourselves a little bit of a parking area here. It's a little, uh, it's a little shy with the uh, gravel, but it won't be the last time we order gravel. So uh, we'll probably, you know, get a few more loads uh, on a later date. But uh, oh boy, does this ever make it look good? Man, you guys remember there used to be a container over there? Oh, so ugly. And we moved it, and it's kind of in behind the yurt. And uh, yeah, so not so not so ugly anymore. You know, it all takes a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, here. So we're a bit shy here as well. Probably need another truckload just to finish off there, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I might just put a culvert here. Um, might just put a culvert there because it gets pretty wet there. So I, I didn't really want to put all the nice gravel on there and then dig it all up to put the uh, culvert in. So, but for now, we'll just leave it as it is. Like I said, not the last time we'll get uh, gravel. Man, that was four truckloads of gravel. And uh, with delivery, it was just over a thousand bucks. Man, that's real cheap. It's nice too. Whew. All right, guys. See you next time.